As China bids farewell to absolute poverty, households lifted out of poverty in China's rural areas are busy preparing for the Spring Festival holiday. Chen, a once impoverished villager, held a soup fest to treat relatives and friends in her home. After slaughtering the pig, she made pao tang, a traditional pork soup, in her hometown. Ge Xiaomei runs an online store in Hexing Village, selling local byproducts and specialties. Her business has become a stable income source for local villagers. 去年以来，我们的账本越积越多，现在我已经积了厚厚的三分了。这就说明我副产品越卖越好，成品的收入也是越来越高，幸福感越来越强。Gao Jiaxuan and his wife are good at making brooms. They shake up poverty by selling brooms they made through Ge Xiaomei's online store. Last December, the couple made a profit of eight thousand yuan. Yes, I got a little bit of money. I spent it on the shop. I bought a few things from the shop. I got a few things from the shop. I got a few things from the shop. I got a few things. Once poverty-stricken villagers in Yulan Hot City are preparing for the upcoming Spring Festival in bright and new houses. My origin is the old house, the old house. It's not good. This is the state government. It gave me a new house. I was born in the new house. The weather is new. Now I'm in the good house. We have four houses. 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 The year 2020 marked the final stage of China's mission to eradicate absolute poverty and complete the building of a moderately prosperous society in all respects. At the end of 2020, all of China's nearly 100 million impoverished rural residents living below the current poverty line had shaken up poverty. It is not an end to the anti-poverty efforts, but a fresh start. China will work to improve follow-up support for relocated people to ensure that they are able to settle down, stay employed, and steadily amass wealth.